All right, two horn breaks, two entombed explosives, and a tire, some mountain climb. Guru Whisperer, he clouded skate, he glade plate, he crimson bail. Wait. I meant to say bell. Didn't it used to be the other way around? Are you a different person with almost exactly the same name? <laughs> the original the arcane. How's it going? Apply days to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. It's generally pretty good with Hellhorn. Need time for his beam. Yeah, Yuri. Hey, Jester Kid. It should be fine because we have them dazed on the top floor so we can uh, hopefully get them killed without them killing us. How's it going, Jinoki? Alright, that's awesome. It means this is dead too. And this is dead too. Because this goes to 35, 45, 55. And then we just have to kill... Uh, the boss, I guess. Alright, sweet. Good first circle. Gotcha, Crimson. Ichinoki. What is burnout? What is burnout? Uh, it just means they die on their own after a certain number of turns when the burnout runs out. Thanks to 29 months. And Bomo should be you too. Jorb's love to you as well. Burnout's actually, I think, the last racing game that I've really enjoyed playing. I played um that rally game. Had a like sponsored stream for a rally game. And it didn't do very well streaming because my like, graphics card couldn't handle it, but I actually played it a ton offline after streaming it, weirdly. Uh, but Burnout. I used to play that on console with my friends, and it was just like such a good party game. On a fun. These are certainly units. I think I go Branded Warrior here. No crowns? Baby crowns? And <laughs> burnout upgrade. Just never really particularly good. Even when you're playing Melting Remnant, it's still not ever really very good. And we're, uh, it's questionable that we're actually playing Melting Remnant here. I think we're mostly playing Hellhorned. Hey, Bonk Fever, I'm glad you enjoyed the. 
This crown's a serious consideration there. Well, if you can put it in play, you sort of win. But yeah, I'm not sure that we could put it in play. Twenty plus eighteen is thirty-eight. This does kill that though. Which one? Maybe actually do this. What's actually happening here? You're dealing damage to that. Or that, rather. This moves front. Hit, explode. Goes to 35. And it gets knocked to the back and this hits that. That doesn't work either. Move this to the front. Hit. It, this explodes and kills it. This knocks that to the back and this, yeah, we can't get a slay on Hornbreaker Prince, I don't think. I guess it's like slightly better to tire some climb this and oh it still dies. I had to put it on the one with 14 attack. I forgot that I leveled one up. Even when it works, it's bad. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh well, we're fine. Hidden passage seems fine. Passage actually seems like really good. Fine is probably a bit of an understatement there. This is sort of the only playable unit out of these three. It is a good one though. 1040 are good stats. Okay. 
wonder how good five copies of March of Shields would be. It's unfortunate I didn't make it cost zero. Five copies of Branded Warrior with 30 health. Probably okay. And I'll have seven of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, it goes. Yeah, Jow Town. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Is 18 plus 25 is 43. Alright, these are my units. There's certainly a lot of them. Too. Nah. Nah. Not too worried about it. Wonder if this makes us deal more damage. I got Three rage. That's six damage per attack for a while. I think long enough to make up for wasting the first however much. 3252. So I'd need. 2, 24, 36, 48, 16, yeah. I think it was more damage. enjoy a paraffin thug though. Hey there, Brian. Glad you enjoyed it. You like removing cards here, but maybe we need the gold. I think I'm hellventing a hidden passage.
I have some extinguish abilities and no summon abilities. Go with extinguish. This is a second Lady of the Reformed. I think we just don't have enough space though. Is maybe gonna kill our champion. Maybe a little bit. feel that important to play this. We're gonna draw another, right? Actually, that's the unupgraded one, so yeah, we don't care much at all about having that in play. Is it going to the pyre? Unless I were to... No, it's happening either way. the horn break. Kills them all? Incredible. Alright, sweet. Let's see which bell it is up here. This is the one that removes your spells. Hey, awesome. to the pyre. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think spikes do? <laughs> OK. 
Okay, units get an extra upgrade slot is interesting. There are a lot of units. Branding right is a little bit more armor. I think I am, in fact, going to duplicate a hidden passage. Feels like... I mean... I guess it's fine. I don't know. Hey, bottles of beer. How you doing? to do is add another five units <laughs> behind that, which really shouldn't take that long. It should be pretty doable. I wish it was easier to tell which version of the unit you're looking at, whether it was the one that was upgraded or not. The problem is that that information is like toward the bottom of the card, but you usually look at the top half of the card for identifying information. I guess it's here. I guess you can see it here. Perhaps I'm just blind. Prescription upgrade. Actually, true. I could use a prescription update. Haven't um, had my eyes checked in a while. Sweep boss. <laughs> uh, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh well, there was no way of knowing. <laughs> Kappa. Room has reached the seven unit limit. Yes, that's the best I can do. The life steals a lot, isn't it? a bit more armor on our champion. Yeah. 
another branding right? Maybe I only need one of those. It does have piercing. I don't have life steal. Imagine having units which died. What a silly idea. Holdover on March of Shields would be really good. That's the big thing that I'm missing right now, I think, is having a little bit more tankiness on my top floor. Maybe also a little bit more damage. Feels like I have a lot of damage, but... I think once I'm fighting against things with 190 health, it's going to turn out that I actually don't. Okay. Double stack? Probably should do this. Right. I'm going to be taking Ember at the end of this fight, so the two cost will be a little bit more approachable. too fast. I'm not gonna actually be able to get all these slate triggers going. that is. Applying all of that rage is probably better than getting another slate trigger on the champion. Also, if I wasn't going to do it that way, I would have had to like go out of my way to not play March of Shields on the champion, which seems sort of eh. 
Well, now that I'm here, though. <laughs> hey, you flux. Just go easy on yourself, okay? I'm gonna have to work all the time. Thanks very much for the two months. One for more show to you too. Okay, getting multi strike for demons would help quite a lot with this stack. Uh, we don't really do enough damage. It looks like we do enough damage. Like there are all these demons standing here. Surely they must kill everything, but not really. <laughs> Turns out, actually, no. The seven unit limit. I love that I have seven units on that floor. Every single one of them has slay. <laughs> Actually, just more card draws better here. Most of the spells I care about cost zero. Am I going to two more Merchants of Magic? I might be going to two more Merchants of Magic. I'm just going to take uh, card draw. I've almost died, even with seven units on the floor. Yep. Yeah, we're going to need more damage and more armor somehow. Not entirely sure how. Hopefully we can work something out, though. more armor. It goes to 59 attack. Exactly. Exactly 59 attack. What an incredibly particular number. <laughs> Missing a 10 there, yeah. 5,910 would be a lot better, I agree.
So these actually die before they get to the pyre, because Jack Strips kills them two damage at a time. I guess there's a problem where it's very hard to put units on this floor, though. That is a bit of an issue. And they're dazed on this floor, so they don't even attack, right? This one, though. This one's a giant problem. I think I fix that by playing March of Shields on it. A little bit awkward. This is going to deal 5 damage to Hornbreaker Prince. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh shit, this got a kill, so it's not dying. Now it is. This will be pretty, pretty damn good. So these have slay, gain two health and two power. That's why one of them had three health at the end. Oh, that's what it does. I <laughs> gain two attack and five health. All right, well, I was like vaguely close to what it does. <laughs> I don't sit at home and read the cards all day or something. What do you expect from me? Floor going. I don't believe I've taken pyre damage in this fight. Although there have been moments. There have been moments that have been a little bit spooky. This row. <laughs> you worked that out on your own? Mm. I don't know. Check your math again. It's dangerous. Don't encourage thinking for oneself here in this community. Our spells killing through spell shield. Piercing goes through spell shield.
Isn't there a card that would be particularly good to duplicate here? I feel like just another hidden passage is probably pretty good. So we could go this way, we could put some like strength on our units and grab another hidden passage. We can go this way, in which case we remove, I don't know, two dregs, I guess. We look for, sort of upgraded all the cards fully already. I can get a holdover on the hidden passage. Rather just duplicate one, I think. And this way we get creature upgrades, which seem like they could be pretty sweet. F, F tan theta, hello. Rage adds an additional plus one per stack. I don't think I have enough rage going on for that to actually be worth that much. That seems better. I have so much card draw now. Oh, they all have three upgrade slots. Well, that didn't quite happen. Um, deal 70 to the front enemy unit. Maybe it would have been worth it. Quick, just let me put that on my champ, please. The thing is, stuff is dazed on the top floor, so it's not attacking anyway. It doesn't really... doesn't really do all that much here. Uh huh. Did you just consume one of the hidden passages, right? It's okay. We have two more and a thingamajig. Should be fine. Yeah, it sucks, but I think I have to. Might only get six on the top floor this time around, but it's sort of fine. to die. 
I don't know if this infused mallet has overall made this run easier or harder. I think it might have made it harder. Let's start working on this armor. Oh, that actually made me lose one of the kills, changing the order there. Yikes. Uh, okay, maybe I need to reconsider. There's nothing to play Hidden Passage on this. Put this here so I stop drawing it. I only have 21 cards? You are 14. I only have 14 cards. Worth it just to put rail beater in front, I think. Can you usually ascend it next turn? Or even this turn? Although <laughs> feels like hmm. feels like we put armor on this right now. Forty, forty, forty-two, fifty-two is a hundred and seventy-four. So I can't put this in front yet. Now we always draw a hidden passage next turn. Last pixel, please. Okay, never have to draw this again. I like just playing March of Shields on it since it has no damage, basically. This probably goes here. Still have 75 pyre health, that's good. And we win. Easy game. Two branded warriors to spare. Yeah, I know. Didn't even need them.